So I just wanted to take a quick break from my work and my cup of coffee because I'm basically pulling an all-nighter tonight for the hell of it because I'm crazy and I'm inspired and I want to do it. Um, to share with you a little epiphany I had. Um, and so part of this is coming from the work that I'm doing right now. I'm going through uh, Danielle Laporte's um, Spark Kit, I believe was what it was called. It's, it's really like the digital version of the Firestarter sessions before it became a book. So I don't think the Spark Kit or the Firestarter sessions are available anymore in digital form, but you can get them in book form off of Amazon. Um, and I highly recommend doing that because she is amazing. Um, but a lot of the work that you do in the very beginning is just looking at who you are, where you've been, letting go of the past, and looking at your strengths. Um, and all day today I've kind of been chewing on this idea of gratitude because I wanted to do a little blog post. And usually when I do a written blog post it's because I want to get really in depth in an idea in a way that I can't really get in a video because I tend to ramble, which is why this is the seventh version of this video that I've made tonight because I keep rambling. Um, so gratitude and how it's really, really hard when you're coming from a place of not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and so for me in the past, gratitude is something that I really, really struggle with. And it's not because I'm some selfish, bad, mean person who doesn't appreciate when people help me. It's just really hard to feel gratitude when all of your attention is focused on, I'm not going to pay my rent, 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 I'm not going to pay my rent. That $50 you gave me tonight, it's great, but it's still not going to pay my rent. Um, or uh, in my past, uh, gratitude has been something that's kind of been pushed on me, especially as a pastor's kid. And my parents are great, and I'm not going to like whine about my childhood at all. But when you are a minister's child, there are a lot of expectations to be a good role model and to behave in the way that a good Christian child should, which means saying a lot of thank yous, um, even when it's for stuff that you don't really want. Um, very inauthentic fake gratitude, and nothing fake really works with me. I'm just not that type of person. I'm not fake at all. Um, I can't fake gratitude. I can't fake um, the, the, I can't think of what it, the word I'm looking for right now. I can't fake modesty. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of people who make jokes with me about how not modest I am, which I, I don't think I'm great. I'm not a narcissist, but I'm not going to sit around and pretend that I don't feel good about the things that I'm good at. Um, I can't fake uh, when I'm in a relationship, like a romantic relationship. I can't play games. Like I just, I don't have that personality. I can't pretend that I'm not interested in somebody, whether that's as a friend or a romantic interest. I, if I'm feeling it, it is on the surface, and everybody within a 20 mile radius knows it. So I'm just not good at faking things in general. Um, and so the idea of having to fake uh, gratitude or trying to force myself to feel gratitude when it's not very authentic um, is definitely something that I struggle with, especially when you go into the manifestation world where that's one of the big things that they bring up. Feel grateful for what you have, and it's going to bring in more prosperity, which is even more pressure to try and feel something when you don't feel it. Um, but what I've kind of, the epiphany that I had is that when you have made the choices to live your life in a very authentic place, um, and this doesn't necessarily just mean like doing what I did and quitting your job, um, or pursuing your passions, because it's different for everybody else. What I'm doing is not going to work for everybody else. This is my personality. Like I said, I can't fake anything, which in some ways that means that I can't really have a day job and do this at the same time. I am an all or nothing girl. Um, so what's authentic for you may look completely different for what's, than what's authentic for me. Um, but when you're in an authentic place and you're making active choices about who you are and the way that you're going to live and you've chosen to actually accept yourself, um, strengths and weaknesses and all, then, auth or then authentic gratitude comes really, really easy. It's n your natural state almost. Um, because you're not anxious about that money coming in. When it does come in, you're really grateful for it. You genuinely feel good about it. You are able to genuinely be thankful that you have those resources in that moment instead of being in that place of it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. 
because you're not trying to live up to anybody else's standards and, and you're just I mean granted mindfulness comes into this in a lot of ways and being in the moment and not thinking about what's coming ahead um, but it is it comes a lot easier it's it's not you don't have to fake it you don't have to try and force yourself to feel it anymore um, so I guess that's kind of my my epiphany for the evening is that in order to feel gratitude instead of trying to fake it or force yourself to feel it sometimes you have to look at readjusting the situation so that it is more authentic to yourself and there's always something to be grateful for uh, it's just not always the obvious thing so there's my little words of wisdom for the evening um, and I will or maybe it's wisdom see there's that lack of modesty again um, that's that's it for the evening is my point <laughs> and I have more stuff planned for you so uh, tune in on Monday and I should have something up for you then bye